What's up, fam? How's life? How you doing, boy? It's Minecraft. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Are you now? <laughs> Unfortunately, so. That's depressing. Did you Sorry. Find that man. gosh dang nether fortress yet? Oh god, I found the lava again. Stop doing that, me. I'm fine. I survived. Uh, no, I haven't, and I'm not. Uh, now I'm like, um, tangen tangentially, I'm dead. You're dead. Yeah. How'd you die this time, Matt? Uh, lava. I tried <laughs> to tank through it. Uh, if you if you fall in lava and you swim up fast enough, as long as you keep your, uh, your there's no up, reason for me to have armor. So I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make a pick and bring a bunch of rocks. probably bring. A, oh, when you said rocks, like wait, what? <laughs> no, like uh, like something to climb. Also, then, no, I don't even need a sword. No one oh, attacked me. I know. No one attacked yeah, me in the yeah, Nether. Yeah, but once you get to a the blazes, attacked me and I dodged it. But so blazes, clearly. Matt. Hail's what? blazes, but when you hit the blazes, you're gonna need them. Yeah, but I still can go pick up my stuff. I haven't. I oh, wasn't even right. the same chunk yeah. as them yet. Or so you hope. I'll bring one sword. Why the hell not? Yay! Oh, yo, man. it's the creep mans. <laughs> yo, yo, what up? I'm in the creep mans. I'm the scat creep. Scooby dooby. <laughs> That's my scat man if I was a creeper. I died again to a creeper. What the? <laughs> this is not your uh, day, Matt. I just keep dying. It's fine. People, I've gotten multiple comments on the versus videos lately. That people, people really want us to redo the battle for Bik bikini bottom race. Not because like just you won or anything, but because that, like that's all they want to see on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> all they want to see is battle. Forever, same series over and over again. Forever. That's not fun though. And I say we give it to them. We do nothing but play that game forever, starting now. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, really good. Like, do you, do you people understand that there are more games than Battle for Bikini Bottom? Battle for Bikini Bottom is a great game. Don't get me wrong, right? But there are like many other games that are like better than it. <gasps> That's blasphemy on my channel. Take it back. Battle for Bikini Bottom is like my favorite 3D platformer, right? <laughs> is it really? Like it's up. It's like really guess. good. Like yeah. there's no denying it, right? <laughs> like it's a fantastic game. But at the same time, it's still like not the best game ever or anything. Yeah, I know. I agree. It's the, but I mean, like as far as licensed games go, it's really good. As far as kids games go, it's really good. As far as there's a lot of different things that make it really good, right? I'm just saying it's not like the greatest game ever or anything. It's the greatest game ever. Greatest game ever. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh man. <sighs> Give me food. I forgot, I didn't bring a water bucket, so I'm doing a very impromptu caving session because I needed iron very badly. I'm just, I'm like pillaring across this lava, and I hate doing that. That's my number one thing I hate doing. Actually, that's not true. My number one hate thing is in the freaking end, going over the the nothingness. That, that's terrifying. Never been in the end, so I wouldn't know about that experience. It sucks. Do you get like vertigo just looking down when you're like going over lava from far up in the from far off in the sky? Or not really? I don't get vertigo, I just like hope I'm not bad at the game. I just I get very dizzy and like uh, I mean I don't get like very dizzy, but I definitely feel it. I, gu I guess it also depends on like your setup, right? Because I'm on a tiny I'm like I'm not on a tiny laptop, I'm on a relatively small laptop, yeah. so it's not as immersive as like yeah. a bigger monitor. Yeah, well I, I don't have I don't play Minecraft in full screen anyway, so I, I don't no, any so game I like that, record that, or... that argument is completely <laughs> incorrect. You're saying so like, you just suck is the point. I almost I almost bought um an Oculus Rift the other day. Yo, I of... played the Vive. Oh yeah, over, how is it? Um, I haven't experienced break. any of that before. So my thing is basically hang on, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. Sneeze, sneeze, Peek. sneeze. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> that um, sound painful. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> what happened down here? Um, so my thing with it, right, is the technology is just not there. Mm. That's my argument. Mm -hmm. it yeah. is, it's it's it, like it's cool, it's an interesting gimmick, 
technology's not there yet. I don't think it's the future. I don't. I think people who think VR is the future are wrong. The Matrix um, is the future. Um, but when it comes down to it, right? Um, uh, there are some severe issues Damn. that I think can really cause problems. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, here's an example, right? Um, uh, my um, Alex showed me because it's his younger brother that got the the vibe, right? Mm -hmm. Um, my okay. Alex showed me Subnautica in VR, right? Don't know what that Subnautica is. is a pretty good game. Um, uh, I I don't own it myself, but I've played it uh before. It's a pretty good game. I pretty well made overall, not bad at all. Uh, but my um, the thing is right is that when you play in VR, the problem is is that um your the movement of your character is controlled by a control stick and the reason yeah, why is yeah. because There's you're no limited really to your that. room space right yeah. you can't get up and move around yeah. and expect to explore a huge world right mm -hmm. so you have to move with an analog stick. it takes okay. you out of it right well it's not it takes you out of it it actually gives you a headache oh really Interesting. because you're a trick it's a trick in your brain vr is a trick right yeah when you put on a vr headset it's like whoa i'm in this place now and obviously your brain like consciously knows that you're on a vr headset right mm -hmm. but subconsciously it's tricked right that's what makes it so cool is that there's like this this uh seamless transition of like your cognitive interface with like the world mm -hmm. to a to a game right and that's cool so Anytime that cog that that perception is altered, then you immediately just feel the effects of it, right? Okay. If there's lag in a game, like more so than any other instance, it kills it. Huh. If there's a low frame rate, it kills it, right? Hmm. You need uh, you need 60 FPS on VR because without it, your brain won't get it. You, it'll just won't get it. Yeah. And you can say, sure, I won't tell the difference between 30 and 60, but that's not the point. It's a trick. It's a brain click. And your brain doesn't see at a frame rate. It sees at uh, it. It sees things by focusing on different things and seeing them at real time, right? Mm -hmm. So the the brain doesn't have a frame rate. Um, the brain has infinite frame frames per second, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so you need that. You need at least sixty in VR. And then when you're moving with the control stick, that's really bad because your brain is used to tilting, moving your head around and yeah. seeing things that way, yeah. moving your body. The fact that you're just like moving and you're in control of it, but not in the way you would expect, yeah, it throws you for a loop. It gives you a headache. Okay. Absolutely gives you a headache. <clears throat> um, now, but if, if, say, the game was set in a roller coaster, right, and you're riding a roller coaster, you can move then because your brain is used to that experience. Yeah. Or it understands that you're on a ride, right? Uh -huh. So then that fixes oh, it there we go. um so um it's it's a really delicate balance and mm. uh i don't i don't think the technology is there to make that work yeah all right um there there are sometimes too like um there are a lot of times too when uh the visuals just aren't very good yeah so like sometimes things look kind of mm -hmm. blocky or pixely or something like that and it kind of pulls you out of it. That's not a headache thing. That's just it just, pulls yeah, you out of it. Kind of gets rid of the entire point of VR, I guess. Like the main purpose of it, I guess, to feel in the game. I want to get it for um, Resident Evil Seven. So I've seen like a bunch of videos of that of people like being spooked yeah. by the game, and like I don't get spooked by games or movies, but being in the game actually scared the hell out of me. Like that sounds like a thing I want to do. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I would. I would look. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't right. know. I think it's a I think it also depends on the person, right? Yeah, like definitely. I'm definitely more of an acute uh I'm more, I, like my my input of media is more acute than other people, right? Yeah, definitely. So because of that, my perception of it is going to be different yeah. from other people's. Like Alex, for example, like he definitely he and I can definitely talk critically about things, but I think he's definitely more about the experience and I'm more about mechanics yeah. in a general sense, mm -hmm. right? Um, and and I don't mean that as an insult, right? His favorite game is um, uh, what's it called? Freaking, it's a strategy game. It's an independent strategy game. I can't think of the freaking name of it, and I feel awful. I have no. Idea. Um, it's Natural Selection Two. That's his favorite game. Never heard of it. Anyway, it's a, stra <laughs> it's a strategy. Uh -huh. It's a strategy game. It's an independent strategy game. Um. Uh, strategy combat game. It's 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 cool from what I've seen of it. 
it's not my kind of game. But um, so I'm not saying like that uh, that being in favor of the experience over the the game design of it is a bad thing. It's not at all. Mm -hmm. Um. But I think the difference is, like, he's willing to suspend his disbelief a bit more yeah. and because that his brain is okay with it. But when I'm, like, in it and I'm, like, looking at it, I'm, like, this is, I, like, me consciously thinking this is weird also helps my brain get a headache. Uh, yeah. So, like, it's kind of like I'm kind of hurting myself in that way. Do you get motion sickness ever? Uh, I'm curious how that, I, like, I relates got, to it I haven't now. had motion sickness before, no. Okay. I'm just curious, like... Since I know, like, people say if you have motion sickness, VR makes you pretty sick, so I'm just curious if you had that. And... No, I, I didn't get sick. It was just a headache. It was actually just a plain mm. old headache. Okay. Because, um, oh, yeah, and sword. it was Subnautica that killed it, uh, but there are other games. Like, the Rick and Morty VR game, like, the, the one that was made by Justin Roiland, that mm -hmm. is fantastic. I mean, it looks like shit, but it, that's intentionally <laughs> that way. Yeah. So it's like, it, it works, and, it, and it's so fantastic. So I, I do think that I do I, I do think there are experiences that like really really work well. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it's ironic that I'm. Oh, I know where I am now. Okay. 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 I'm I get it. I know where I am. I know where I am. I'm happy. I'm killing chickens with arrows, with the ambition of getting more arrows. I don't know if that's like counterintuitive. <laughs> I'm wasting arrows to get arrows, but. I'm out of a sword, and my pick is also almost dead, and sadness. I'm so happy. <gasps> oh no, I just, my, oh god damn, my plan was to freaking not break my sword so I could fix it with this anvil. That's the entire point of me getting this anvil for the past, like, two episodes. <sighs> Wait, I, I was this close? Wait, hang on a second. To your stuff, or? No, 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 no. I'm not at my stuff yet. Um... Okay, so, la was it last episode? Might have been last episode. Before I died, right, I built mm -hmm. this bridge, right, and I went across the thing, and I had to, like, build blocks down in order to g get to the destination, and that's what this is right here that I'm pointing at with my <laughs> radical. Oh, because, I see. And I know I did, th I know that that's what it is, and I know that that's how I did it, right? This is absolutely the case that this is what this is. Right. Almost certain. Okay. So, then, but then that ends up being pretty close to another landmark that's, like, really close to where I, another thing is. So I'm like, okay, where did I go from here that, like, severely altered my course of direction? Where to heck? Mm. <laughs> Please be my base around here. Maybe I went down here. Horsey! Uh-oh. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Mario Odyssey? It's not the Mario game I want, but it's the Mario game everyone else wants. It looks really weird, but I'll, I'll, I'll wait to see what it ends up being. Yeah, so my thing is, um, I'm one of the weird people, right? Mm -hmm. I'm one of the weird people that love 3D World, and I think 3D World it should uh, be the future of really? Mario games. See, I'm more of a galaxy, sunshiny kind of guy. Uh, 3D World's my favorite 3D Mario. Interesting. So, so because of that, I'm that? one of those weird guys that's like, I want more 3D World, and no one <laughs> else wants that, right? Really? I, I feel like more people would also want that. But I do, I, like, I, I get that... Um, people want Mario Sunshine and all that. Cause, yeah, same here. Oh, boy, I th I thought that was a pretty popular game. A 3D World is a popular Wii U game, but yeah. that that's, it's also a Wii U game. Yeah. So like it, that's the problem. And 3D Land did sell well, but it wasn't particularly popular because it wasn't particularly like iconic or anything. Mm, yeah. So I think so it doesn't have that high pedigree. I mean, when play, people played Mario 64, they're like, oh my god, I've never played anything like this before. And yeah. I don't, that doesn't, that didn't, that just plain doesn't exist with 3D World, right? True, yeah. So people, so people like their Mario 64s and Sunshines, even though they're incredibly flawed games, right? Yeah. Um, and that, that aspect is not going to change, right? Mm -hmm. So even though I don't think Mario has ever done that particular type of game well in any regard, um, huh. uh, Ooh, cool now. God dang it! 
I mean, that, that's the, that in 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 that sense, it's the game that people want, so they're gonna make it. Yeah. Because they Nintendo realized now, it's like, okay, well, we can try and get this mass appeal audience, but at the end of the day, people are gonna come to our system for games, so they're yeah. gonna work on making good games, and I and I agree with that, uh, that idea. So in that regard, they they did it. Okay. I found hey. where I, wa- I think I found where I was. So this is the rock, right? Oh. <laughs> the rock's it's there. Not- <gasps> The Dwayne Johnson man? No, no, this isn't. This isn't it. Oh yeah, man. What's good? That's not even the right guy. <laughs> no, I'm I'm too far. I'm still far away. Um, bum bum. Wow, I can't believe I'm out of coal of all things. That's not even a thing that happens. Okay then. Hmm. I don't have a bed anymore because a damn creeper blew it up. So I can't sleep the stupid night away. Okay, so this is not what I thought it was. And that's just a weird architecture for it to be naturally spawned like that. Uh, yeah, there's some weird things you see in this game sometimes. Positive X, positive Z. I would, so ask, I, I would ask what your thoughts on Breath of the Wild are, but I know you don't have much interest in Zelda's. Uh, I think it's uh, the most compelling Zelda game I've ever seen. I'm so excited for that game. Yo, I, I okay. Talking about something slightly different. I um, last semester, I'm, I don't know if I talked to you about this or not. I played the wind. I got the Wind Waker HD. I played it with my former nope. roommate, and I hate that. that game. What? I hate that game. What? Matt, that hurts my heart. That's one of my um, favorites. Uh, really, really don't like that game. So I'm hoping that when I, whenever I decide to get Twilight Princess HD, that I'll like that more. Why do you hate it? Uh, it, it, there's a lot of reasons. First off, um, it feels incredibly rough. Right? It feels like it feels incredibly um, what, sir? What? It feels incredibly what, sir? Rushed. Uh-huh. The development feels it, so. The, in in many regards, the game feels incomplete. Okay. Uh, there's five temples in mm-hmm. the entire. Um, which is substantially lower than other Zelda games, right? And a lot of a lot of what you do in freaking Wind Waker is you just kind of go back and forth and talk to people and occasionally get things. There's a lot of times where there's very vague things that you need to do. Like, for example, in order to unlock the Earth and Wind Temple, you need to go get uh, certain um, you need to get certain songs mm-hmm. in very weird locations. That's marked on your map. No, you don't. You don't know how to like the teleport song. The song that like lets you teleport to specific yeah. things. Okay. You, there's no indicator that you need to freaking that shoot the true. guy. That... You just shoot the guy because he's annoying. Yeah. You. yeah but that's... like, there's no indication that you have to do that. Yeah. So if you're like just a good player, you would just dodge it. And so that's what I did. And then yeah. like, and then uh, Matt was like, "Oh, you have to shoot him." I'm like, why do I have to shoot him? He's like, "Cause he'll give you a song that you need to beat the game." I'm like, "That's stupid." Oh yeah, I guess he. But do the need real one here. that killed it. The real uh-huh. one that killed it. I'll tell you what killed it. Right. Like, I was minorly enjoying myself for most of the game. I was like, okay, you know, it's not the best game ever, but I don't think I, I was, my expectations were probably too high, right? Mm-hmm. In some regard. So I'm like, okay, go to the Earth Temple. That killed it. That is what killed it. The, that is the worst designed thing in a game I've ever experienced. Anything in specific that you didn't like about it? For Okay, so you have Medley as your partner, uh-huh. right? Medley is one of the worst partner <laughs> AI things I've ever experienced. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Because you call her and she comes over sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes. And when you call her, she doesn't even go to where you are half the time. She just kind of does her own thing sometimes, right? Sometimes if you wanted to go into another like room, you have to freaking pick her up and carry her through the door, even though she can walk. <laughs> she yeah. Can walk. It's not like freaking Rudo in Ocarina of Time where she's constantly sitting down. They gave a reason for it. Mm -hmm. They gave a reason for Rudo to be a freaking object because she's pretentious and she's not nice and no one likes her. We have to save her anyway. And I was like, that's cool. But she becomes a hot fish person. That's true. I mean, wait, what? Yeah. (laughs) So, um, so freaking it just is horribly set up, right? Uh Uh-huh. Um, then there are a lot of instances where it's like, oh, you get to take control of her and then go to a thing, and then you can bring control back to Link, and then she freaking steps off of the thing that you need to step on. And I'm like, step on the thing, don't step off of the thing. Yeah. It's like, I took control of you to go to the thing so you can step on the thing, not step off of it. I will say, I do think a big reason why I love that game so much is the same reason so many people love Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past so much is because nostalgia. The dim right. nostalgia blinders. Yeah. 
why, why do you have a Tractus now? But I, I just, I think the exploration in that game makes up for like the lack of temples. But yeah, I do agree. Like medley and um, uh, what, and I heard the wind tip man? was even worse. Oh, you didn't get that far. Okay, fair enough. No, yeah, I, I couldn't beat the Earth Temple. I couldn't handle it. The yeah. mirror shield is really bad too. There's a picture on Twitter of the mirror shield when I first got it, and the first puzzle I had to do with the mirror shield, it it, it literally graphical glitches out the butt. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, I do wish like whenever they release an HD remake or whatever, they don't do a whole lot to like improve the very obvious things that could have been fixed and polished a little bit more. And that's oh, the, frustrating. I, you want to hear what they fixed, Chris? Yes. You ready for this? Because the, the, they realized that your sailing was so slow, they added the swift yeah. sail. How do you get the swift sail? By freaking gambling and hoping you get it and taking freaking three hours to get it because well, you have to buy every other freaking item that you don't need because yeah, you, you don't get want back it, out. You don't want 100% the game and you buy every other item and then you get eventually get the swift sail. I got it first couple tries, but. It took me three hours. <laughs> I, had to, I, had to, I had to go back and forth between oh two God. different islands. Killing all the dudes along the way, cause there's this one island where you have like a lot of rupees on it or whatever. It's one of the little tiny islands, oh there, right? God. So I'm like, I sail off a of freaking dragon roost or whatever island is, right? Uh -huh. And I go all the way to this other island. I go back and then I bet, and then it, it isn't the thing I need. And then I go and then I do it again. Freaking three hours. It took me three hours to do that. Three yeah. hours to get the swift sail. The thing that's on the box. <laughs> on the box, marked improvement, swift sail. Oh, okay. Well, you you should be swift next time to get a sale. So, uh, no, I, I really did not. I was gonna ask what you thought of, like, Windfall in comparison to the other town, main towns, but I guess you don't really have comparison. What did you think about it in general, though? Because I, I, that that's probably, like, my favorite hub world. <gasps> wow, why is there a creeper in my chicken pen? You, one of these things is not like hang, the other. Hang on a second. Okay. Someone knocking. No. Okay, no one was not <laughs> Was there I someone there when out. he said no, or did you no, just talk no yourself? One said no. <laughs> That's fine. I, I'm almost wow. like about to have up on life right now with this 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 fighting the matter of the shenanigans. Yeah. The first reach. Okay, well, I'm just gonna head in this direction and maybe I'll find my stuff, maybe I won't. And I only have two picks, so this is a bad decision, but like at this point, I just like can't handle my life. Yeah. I would suck if by the time you got there, finally all your stuff was gone. Oh, oh probably is. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, as long as you weren't in the chunks, but I don't know how close you were. Uh, Nor do I really know exactly. Oh, the, the thing is, is like getting to that spot is more technical than you would expect it to be. Oh no, the so nether you know sucks. What the spot for, like, was, so it's not yeah. as simple as going to like 300, 300 or whatever. The nether absolutely sucks for like getting to exact coordinates, but so yeah. Oh, myself an anvil. So I, I finally did something this this recording session. This is gonna freaking kill my picks, and then I'm not gonna have a pick, and I won't be able to go anywhere. Totally heard of that as kill my dicks, and I was very confused and couldn't figure out what you actually did say. What's our time at? It's 18 minutes. That being said, I totally forgot to start this timer again this episode, so we probably could end off now if you'd like. If it's a good point for you, it's a good spot for me, so. Yeah, we'll end it off. Okay, yeah. thanks for the wife. I don't want to. I don't want to play frustrated. I want to enjoy myself. So <laughs> we're gonna. I want to do anything with like this right now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll, we'll beat the game eventually. One day, <laughs> episode fifty-seven. <laughs> it's yeah, a promise. We'll <laughs> Later, fam. Goodbye.